In this video, I'm going to show you how I replaced all these lights right here with a brighter light. Our trailer is a 2017 and they had a warm light in here and I've replaced them with a, a cool white light to make the trailer a lot brighter. I think a lot of the newer trailers are coming out with these uh, cool white lights in them. Um, I wanted a brighter light underneath the cabinet. So in a previous video, I installed these and these here, there's a button to turn each one off. Plus I have a switch over here and these here, I can dim them down. So they dim up and down, but they're really bright. They're good for kitchen lights, but I wouldn't recommend them for up here. It took me some searching to find some lights that I liked up here. I tried to put these bright lights up here, but they just blinded me um, just being here. But if you are looking down at them, they aren't so bright from if you're standing at the cabinet. So um, I'm going to show you how I install the lights, um, these lights. I'll show you how to do one of them. And then I'm going to show you... Um, I have a board set up with the different lights so I could show you uh, the ones I chose. The one I chose for up here and the one I chose for here and then some other options and what was existing before so you can compare. So I hope this video is helpful to you. So after lots of searching on the internet and trying to find the right light, um, this is the one I came up with. This one right here. It's a Faccon. I think that's how you say it, Faccon. And it's a, a nice light. It comes with a light here. It's packaged in plastic. It comes with mounting screws. I'm going to use the existing screws. Um, and then here, real easy to understand. It says positive. The black is positive. The white is negative. Here's the back of it. This one comes off. You just turn it a slight turn. And the top comes off and here's what it looks like in here so the you just uh mount it with three screws put this back on tight like that if you need instructions it comes with really good instructions here so when i install this i'm going to point out some pointers to you of how to install it there's different options to do the wires to uh crimp the wires together you have these here or there's these uh, connectors here where you strip the wire and you push them in place and they lock in place. They also have ones where um, you can put the wire in and crimp down on it and they're reusable. These here aren't reusable. Those are ex more expensive. And this is the same setup here, just a little different uh, layout. It's uh, actually, this one just square and that's a, a longer one so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you the differences in the lights that I've uh, had in here and what I've tried uh, to see what would work and and the, you'll see the reason why I chose this light over the others and then after that we'll go and I'll show you how I install one light here's my work of art I put together and uh, here is the original light that was in the trailer originally. Here's the one I replaced it with that is in there now that I like. This one is what's underneath the uh, upper cabinets over the sink area. And this is another one here that um, I liked, but it wasn't bright enough for me. So let's go in here. Oh, before we go in here, I got to show you something. I turn this on, it's beautiful. I was expecting to just turn on the power and then it would be, um, you'd be able to see the different colors, but this is what you see. Just a big blob of light. So I found if I come in closer that you'll be able to get an idea of what it looks like. So first let's go down to this Kelvin temperature color chart. So this original light that was in it is about 27 um, Kelvins here and uh, it's a warm light so if I go up here you'll get an idea this is the original light of what it looks like it's more of a warm brownish light 
Then I go down here and the light I chose is a 3400. And if you go over here, you'll see it's more of a white light. And with this one, you'll see it um, has an on-off button and you can install a dimmer switch according to what it says on Amazon if you want to put a dimmer on all of them. So you can see here it's more of a white light. And I'm not sure if I can pick them up side by side. Yeah, I can see the difference. Then the one that I went with under the sink is 6000, which is a cool light. So it's uh, got a slight blue in it, but you can't really see it under the um, under the kitchen cabinets shining down on the countertops. They say these are more for kitchens, if you want a nice bright light in the kitchen. So I went with the 6000 here and it has an on off button with the built in dimmer. And there it is there. And you can see those dots around it. Those there don't really show up um, when you see it in person, just in the video. Then come over here, we have a warm white 3200. And I, I like it better than the original. The original is right here, but it wasn't wide enough for me like this one was. So let's go over here to it. And it's a 3200 and you go up here and this one, when you see it in person, you don't see these dots here. But this is the one that's uh, got the built-in dimmer when you hold the button. So let me show you what these look like with the covers off. So let's start with this one right here, this warm white. And that's what it looks like when I take the cover off. Then we'll come over here to the 6000. Um, cool white and that's what it looks like and then the cool white the one that I chose like that and then here's the original like that so you can see here and these here they have more lights and the LED lights spread out and more light so these have less and now you can kind of see the color difference you kind of see this is more white and there's a warm warm white and there's a cool white and the warm white so i hope that gives you some idea of uh, what the lights look like so let's go ahead and remove this existing light so this one here, the original light and screws, just like that, comes off. And just so you know, I've had this removed and I cut the wires earlier. I had this one down before and I just put it back up to, to show you um, how to remove it and cut the wires. So um, when I was experimenting using different lights, I decided to um, do that. So I'm gonna pull these wires down like that. So you can see here, I cut the wire here and here off the old one like that. The, the black is connected to the positive. So as you can see on the new one, it's labeled got positive on the black and negative on the white so you can't mess that up so the red and white wires are the positive the whites are the negative on those so hey when I was doing the work on the lights I noticed that uh, when I went to cut this one wire on another one it just pulled right out um, so when the factory put these together 
one of the workers didn't crimp it right or get the wire in far enough and crimp it so it just came out and i had a problem with the light flickering i thought it was a bad light before uh i pulled everything down then i discovered it was just a loose wire so i've heard of some other people uh having problems with that where a light's flickering or goes off and it's actually because or a few lights go off because these are wired in series um that it's just a bad connection here so just take your light down and check your wires so right now i'm going to go ahead i'm going to do this with my power on so i'm going to do one at a time i'm going to do the positive side i'm going to do everything i have to do and then i'm going to take and cut these wires and do this side um, it's better if you aren't experienced to go ahead and turn off the batteries um, or um, there's a battery switch or disconnect the batteries so i'm just going to do it this way you don't want these wires to touch here you probably just blow a fuse it's not a big deal but uh, I highly recommend that you uh, turn off the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these wires just like that. And then, being careful not to touch this over here for some reason. Let's see. I'm going to straighten these wires out a little bit while I got it free to do it. I'm going to do the strippers here. And I'm going to strip them roughly half inch or so. And I'm going to go half inch. Just like that. Two. There's three wires here. Bear with me. Just like that. I'm going to take that one down a little more. It's not really quite a half inch. I've decided to go with these connectors here um, because they're made for the smaller gauge wire, which will accept this wire here, small gauge, and this larger gauge. The um, orange one here is made for uh, more like these gauges here. So I'm going to go with this one here. I'll make sure I put links to uh, in the description below for you to get these, uh, purchase them. I'm going to go ahead and install this. You put it in. And what it does, it slides in like that. And you want to see it go into this clear area. So I'm going to make sure this is nice and tight here. And then I'm going to take my pliers, push that in place. I'll go ahead and do the same with these other ones. those in tight so they're nice and tight make sure I see the the uh, wire sticking out there that means they're all the way in the connector like that now we're going to go ahead and, and put the positive in here make sure that you've cut it if it isn't cut already nice and tight if you have stranded wires here, it won't slide in here properly. So that just went in. I'm going to be really careful to make sure this is in place. Like that. It's nice and tight. Make sure you do a pull test on them because you want to make sure that's in there good. Okay. So now that one's done. I'm going to go ahead and cut these white wires like this. Just 
like that. And same thing. I'm going to go ahead and strip these wires back roughly a half inch. Sorry this is taking so long, but I just want to show you uh, how this goes. Um, I could fast forward through it, but I'm not going to. There's some people out there that just don't know how to do this, and there's some people that know how to do it, so those people can just fast forward through it. I feel comfortable doing this. So those are all tight. I'm going to grab another connector here. I'm going to do this one first since I want to make sure this wire is so small. I want to make sure I do this right. So You can almost feel the wires go in place and go through that little pinch point. So let's see if this comes apart. It's nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and do the next wire. I had to twist that a little better. I can see that wire went in, so I don't need to do the pliers on it. This one, same thing, it went in easily. This one here. And that one's in there tight. I can see the wire, the copper in there. So we're all good. So this should light up. And it does. So I'm going to stuff these wires back in there. And screw it back up in place. I'm just using the existing screws that came with the trailer. And the, the heads of these are black, so if they show through, I might end up just dabbing some white paint on them to hide what they look like. So let's see. So here's a new cover. So it has a little tab here. You line it up with that tab. Turn it just a small amount there, and you can see here the screws. So I will dab a little white paint on them. And there you go, it's done. So these don't dim, they just go on and off. There you go. And I have those on a switch, a wall switch, so um, they'll all come on at the same time. This project is complete. Got all the lights replaced here. These are the ones I just did. And these are the ones under the sink that I did in the other video. These lights here are controlled by this panel here. And then there's two above the bed that are controlled by a switch down here. So keep an eye out for my next video. I'm going to install a dimmer on this uh, control panel here that will control these lights here so I could dim them down and then over here I'm uh, gonna install a different dimmer to control these lights so I uh, should be coming out with that video pretty soon so hopefully you like this video and you want to see more if you like this video please feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already and then after you hit subscribe hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos that come out also if you like it, hit the uh, thumbs up button. Feel free to comment or share anything that you've done with your trailer or RV uh, to improve lighting in it. And uh, others will be able to read your comments. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them and I'll do the best I can to answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care and happy camping.